Good morning, welcome to your virtual tour on the Hilux SR5 that you inquired on. Now this virtual tour, as I mentioned, I'll be going through all the interior and exterior of the car, pointing out any scuff marks or any marks that needs to be noted at first point of sale. Now before I start the virtual tour here for you, let me just give you a quick introduction of my yard here in Cairns, if you haven't been here before. Now where I'm standing, this is one of our two pre-owned dealerships. We hold over 200 plus cars at any given time, making us one of the biggest pre-owned dealerships here in Cairns. Now across the street, we've also got the brand new Toyota showroom, and we've got the brand new electric showroom, as well as the service and parts behind it there as well. Now back to the vehicle now, starting with the front of the car. LED headlights there at the top. You've also got the uh, LED headlights. Blink is there as well too. Fog lights there on the bottom. Now the grill itself, you've got the nice finished grill. With the nice black finish there as well on the front. A little stone chip there, which I would, again, I'm just being very picky. I'm trying to be as honest as possible. I don't want any surprises on delivery or on pickup for you. Now the bonnet itself, as you can see, the clear coat is still in immaculate condition. No dings or dents there, which is great to see. I will put out a few little, just a little stone chip marks on the front here. Again, just being very, very picky. I said I don't want any surprises for you on delivery or on pickup. Just a bit of dirt there. Get that off the floor, off, off the off the bonnet. Windscreen there as well. There's no chips or crack or anything there at all. Work your way down now. All right, at the front here you do have a genuine alloys. Now, if I do recall, these are your 18-inch alloys. Okay. No scuff marks there, which is great to see. And you've also got your plenty, still got plenty of tread left in the all-terrain tires there. Okay. Work your way down, side steps, you got the 2.8 litre turbo diesel, nice chrome door handles and mirrors. Blinkers are there as well too. Just giving you that side view, just so you can see. I'm not trying to hide anything there at all. I will point out a little bit of a mark here. Again, just being very, very picky for you. Just so you can see everything I can see. The roof itself. No discoloring or anything like that at all. Again, all in really good condition there. Work your way down. Fuel cap obviously on this side here as well. Fine line there, which I can get that polish. There should be no dramas there at all. The canopy, now I know you mentioned you're not really a fan of the canopy, but it is obviously fitted to the car. EGR, bar, uh, EGR canopy, colour coded. You do have obviously your um, windows open up on each side there as well for entry. Genuine alloys again in the back, no scuff marks and plenty of tread left there as well. That one there is probably the worst one out of the lot. But again, I'll see what I can do and see if I can get a brush touched or... Um, do a cut and polish just to make it a little bit more unnoticeable. Work your way down. Tailgate, nice big brake lights, nice chrome finish there as well. Reverse camera there also. Rear step there as well. And you've also got a tow bar set up with a seven plug. Now I can't promise the tow ball will be with the vehicle. Um, sometimes previous owners do keep the, uh, the tow ball itself to go put into the new car, but it definitely has a tow bar set up, just no tow ball. Open it up, anchor points there as well on each side. You do have a tub liner fed to the vehicle there as well, which is great, all right? No holes on the tub there, which is great. Again, all lockable as well, with your own set of keys. Work your way down now on this side of the vehicle. Again, another mark that I can see if I can cut and polish there for you. Just there as well. Again, I just want to be up front and honest from the beginning. I don't want any surprises on delivery or on pickup. Just a little mark there on the rim. Close to new condition there as well for the tyres at the back. Driver side door. Looks like another car might have parked too close to it and might have opened it a little bit, but yeah, as I said, 
Just trying to show you everything I can see on the car. Back to the front of the vehicle. No scarf bikes there on that front rim. Again, plenty of tread left. So there's your full 360 view. I don't know if you can see it as well. There's a minor one just there as well. I don't know if you can sort of see a little bit there. Again, just being very, very picky. Interior now. Now you got the power window, speakers, cup holders, and you got the nice leather trim on the doors. Now this one here as well, got the leather interior as well. So the SR5 Plus, okay. RC Fix, you've also got this seats in the back there as well too. You got the center console here. Now these little marks on the seats are from the actual, um, uh, just indentations from the actual seat, uh, the, the clips, okay. These seats obviously do drop down as well. Um, and actually they, up, they go up, apology. You got also storage box there as well, each side of the seats. All right. You've also got a separator here with a cup holder. Air vents throughout the rear. Genuine floor mats all the way through. Rubber, carpet floors. Again, roof lining all intact, all in really good condition. <clears throat> Driver's side door now. Again, power windows, central locking, mirrors. You've also got your speakers, cup holders, and you've got the leather. Again, trim throughout the door. Electric seats here as well, with your leather finish. Interior there as well, very nice interior. I actually have an SR5 myself. Push that ignition there as well too. Cup holders, you've also got the red arc. Trailer brake system there as well too. Open up the bonnet fuel there as well again genuine floor mats rubber carpet of floors same goes for the other side there as well okay dash mat fit into the vehicle and again a windscreen no chips or crack nice big touch screen which i'll show you very shortly how to use all that before i do over here two set of keys central locking there as well keys for the canopy there also Owner's manual, service history booklet. So you do have the five years factory warranty with the vehicle here. Now, privacy policy, I won't show up the previous owner's details, but it was privately owned here in Cairns and also sold by our dealership here. Warranty start date, 29th of the 8th, 2019. So you still got the 2024 five years factory, okay? Services, 10,000 there was done, Pacific Toyota. 20,000 there was done, again Pacific Toyota. 30 there was done by us. 40 by us. 50, 60, and 70, okay. Full service history. Next one is in June until 80,000. Now start the vehicle, put your foot in the brake. Press the start button, it's just here as well. Close the door digital screen there as well in the middle. You've also got your information tab, sat nav, audio, settings all in there. Range, still distance, empty. Again, all very easy. Clear your button just here as well. Now, the only one that I've got there is your, my handbrake, my seatbelt and the fuel. That will get rectified for you. There should be no dramas there at all. But again, all in really good condition. No funny ticks or noises there. Another steering wheel, airbag and horn, cruise control, volume, voice command, Bluetooth, next track or station, mode for the FM, AM or Bluetooth. Again, control settings here for the center pad. Blinkers, wipers, automatic headlight settings, wipers on that side there as well. Again, all very, very easy to use. Nice big four air vents, hazard lights, and you've also got the clock in the middle there as well. <clears throat> CD player, touchscreen display, half screen or full screen. Reverse camera there as well too, okay. All very easy to use. Air vents there as well to keep your drinks cold, needs be. 
glove box. You've also got here your fan speed and your temperature. Okay, very easy, very cold, all in great condition. Four wheel drive option for your high gear, low gear, four by four, four by two option there as well too. Two toggle power points, traction control for the rear. I said um, diff lock, oh, rear, rear diff lock for the, for the rear, traction control, downhill assist there as well. Heated seats for left and right, AUX, USB, cup holders, center console, automatic transmission, eco power mode there as well too. Handbrake, leather, center console, and your own toggle, and you also put a little power point there as well for the middle. <clears throat> so there you have your interior. Very clean and tidy. Just gonna show you the engine bay of the vehicle now. Just so you can see in here, no funny ticks or noises. Enough space there as well for a second set of battery. Very clean and tidy. So one owner, open it in so there you have your virtual tour on the Hilux SR5. I hope you enjoy and I'll talk to you soon. Thank you.